Hi, it's Carrie. We've got lots of jumbo wild animals today in this very large box. There's some fun at the end too, when two dinosaurs come along and cause some trouble. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like jumbo wild animals. And let's get started. The African Elephant their thick set bodies rest on stocky legs and they have concave backs. Their large ears help them with heat loss. The upper lip and nose form a trunk. Elephant mating rituals include the gentle entwining of trunks. Today I'm saving my two tigers until the very end. I've got some new music and some of my old favourites so just sit back and relax and listen to the music and watch all the animals. Enjoy! The Rhinoceros They live in savannah, shrub and tropical bush areas. They eat leaves, bushes, small tree branches and shoots. Rhinos are large mammals, only second in size to the elephant. They have a thick protective skin, but it can be quite sensitive to sunburn and insect bites. love this model. They are best known for their bright fur which is a lovely golden and orange colour. They are one of the smallest primates in the world with the average golden lion tamarind adult growing to about 20 centimetres or 8 inches tall. Not much bigger than this one. It has an incredibly long tail. And here he is again. alligator and her babies. They are cold-blooded reptiles. They have a very powerful bite but the muscles that open the jaw are relatively weak. An adult human could hold the jaws of an alligator shut with their bare hands. I don't think I'd want to try though. Alligator eggs become male or female depending on the temperature. Male in warmer temperatures and female in cooler temperatures. is called a moose in North America but an elk in Europe. It has very serious headgear. Moose are best known for their antlers. The male moose has antlers from early spring to late autumn. Antlers will drop off before winter but in the following year the male moose will grow even bigger antlers. The antlers are very heavy and large. Hippopotamus. Hippos can't swim or float. They walk or stand on surfaces below the water like sandbanks and bounce along. They spend most of the day in water to protect their sensitive skin from the sun. They secrete an oily red substance that acts as a moisturiser, sunblock and protects them from germs. This also makes them look like they are sweating blood. Ooh. Puma or Cougar. It's a large solitary cat. Cougars are the largest cat that can purr. Their cubs have blue eyes and are born blind with their eyes closed, just like domestic kittens. At about two weeks old, the cubs are able to open their eyes, revealing bright blue irises. It takes about 16 months for their eyes to become the greenish yellow colour of the adult Cougars.
constrictor, one of the largest snakes in the world, along with a reticulated python and anaconda. Boas are non-poisonous, but just as deadly. They ambush their prey, which means that they will hide and wait for something tasty to go by and then do a surprise attack. The river otter is a carnivorous mammal from the weasel family. It lives in a burrow near the edge of the water. Otters are very active hunters, searching and chasing prey through water or scouring the rivers and the seabed for many hours each day. They like to eat fish, turtles, crayfish and amphibians and they also like to play and splash in the water. Townsend's big-eared bat. They're a medium-sized bat with very long ears, measuring between 3 and 4 centimetres or 1.2 to 1.5 inches. When the ears are laid back, they extend to the middle of its body. The face has two large glandular lumps on either side of the nose. This is a white-tailed buck. The adults have white tails and reddish-brown coats in summer, which fade to a duller greyish-brown in winter. The males are easily recognisable in the summer and fall by their prominent set of antlers, which are grown each year and fall off in the winter. The antlers have tines or sharp points. Okapi is the only living relative of the giraffe. Even though they look a bit like a zebra, it shares much more similarities with a giraffe. It has a long skull, large black eyes and a very long purplish tongue, just like a giraffe. The tongue is 18 inches long and can reach both its eyes and ears. Silverbacks are the largest gorillas. They are the male leaders of mountain dwelling gorillas and you can see the silver on the back there. They get to decide where the group will go, when they will eat and where they sleep. The silverbacks also protect the group from predators. The only natural predator is the leopard. Even though lions are known as the king of the jungle, they actually live on grasslands and plains, not the jungle. The female lions do the hunting in groups, while the male lion stays at home and watches over the prey. The males, however, are the first to eat when the female lions come home with their kill. Male lions have majestic manes that make them appear larger and more intimidating. Black bears are North America's most familiar and common bears. They typically live in forests and are excellent tree climbers that are also found in mountains and swamps. Black bears are omnivores. They will also eat fish, small animals, insects and garbage as well as vegetation and honey. In northern regions the black bears will eat salmon that they catch in the rivers. Belly pig, quite a cute little pig with its curly tail. Pigs are very clean animals and love to play 
with children or other animals. Zebras are members of the horse family. They make a loud barking or braying sound. When zebras are grouped together, their stripes make it hard for a lion or leopard to pick out one particular zebra to chase. A zebra's tail is around half a metre or 18 inches long. They like to sleep standing up and mostly eat grass and leaves. Wild zebras live in Africa and are part of the equity family, along with horses and donkeys. The Bornean Orangutan Male and female orangutans look quite different. They both have long red hair, but males are much bigger. They live and sleep in the treetops of their tropical rainforest home. is one of the smallest members of the primate group. They live in the treetops of dense tropical rainforests, wetlands, marshes and even mangrove forests. The body of a squirrel monkey is covered with fur that is mostly olive or grey in colour. Their face, ears and throat are white and mouths are black. Their long tail helps them balance when they move through the treetops. Crocodiles are reptiles that have very sharp teeth and powerful jaws. When their snouts are shut, they look like they are grinning, with a fourth tooth on each side of the lower jaw sticking up over the upper lip. Baby crocodiles hatch from eggs. Nests are built on the water's edge, just from sand, mud and weeds, and are really just shallow holes. This is one of my very old male lions, quite a scary looking face. When a pride of lions hears the roar of a single lion approaching, two lions from the pride will always go out to meet the lone stranger. There's safety in numbers. If two lions are hurt, then they send out four lions to meet them. The Gibbon they live in the rainforests of Southern Asia. They have strong, hook-shaped hands for grasping branches and extremely long arms and long, powerful legs for moving and grasping. They walk on two feet. You might notice I'm having a bit of trouble reaching into this box. I'm going to quickly rearrange it with a couple of boxes inside. That's much better. The white lion. The white fur is caused by a genetic peculiarity due to a recessive gene that affects the animal's fur or even a bird's feathers. Instead of being the colour of the fur or feathers, they are white. Its technical name is leucism. Most of their population is found in zoos where they are bred. excellent eyesight and a good sense of hearing and very strong jaws. Their fur still has the rosettes but you can't see them because it's so black. Its dark coat helps it to hide so it can stalk and attack prey at night. Black panthers are great swimmers and can climb trees easily. The armadillo Armadillos are the only mammals whose body is covered with a hard shell. Their whole body is covered with bony plates. They use their legs and long claws for digging tunnels and often create a network of tunnels underground. The wolf. Wolves 
are the largest members of the dog family. The grey wolf is the most common. Wolves live in hunting packs of around 6 to 10 animals. They are known to roam large distances, perhaps even 12 miles or 20 kilometers in a single day. They work in packs, running their prey down after a chase. They like to work together to bring down larger animals. This sidewinder rattlesnake is also known as the horned rattlesnake as the scales above their eyes rise up resembling horns. These scales help protect their eyes from sand. Their eyes have vertical irises like cats. It is a species of venomous pit viper. The Appaloosa Horse The Appaloosa Horse is known for its spotted patterning. The horses arrived in America from Spain in the 16th century and they eventually reached Northern America. Alligators are large reptiles and closely related to crocodiles. An alligator has a rounded snout. All of its upper teeth can still be seen when its mouth is closed. Research has shown that the black furred wolves owe their coloration to a mutation that first arose in domestic dogs. It's not entirely clear what benefit the black fur has for the animals, although it would help hide them if they were out hunting at night time. Coyote. Coyotes are carnivores, but they can eat fruit and vegetables too. They are the size of a medium dog. They have long fur that is brownish red, grey or white. They have a bushy tail like a fox. They raise their pups in dens or holes in the ground. Coyotes make a high yipping sound. These sounds get louder and faster when they are closing in on the prey. The Arctic Fox. Its long fur helps keep it warm and it has a very big bushy tail to wrap around itself. Its fur provides good camouflage when it is out hunting and also protects it from being seen by other predators. The Prairie Dog. They are a genus of brown squirrels. They are small, burrowing rodents which live in short grass prairies and the high plains of western USA and Mexico. Prairie dogs are mostly herbivores. They like to eat grass, seeds, leaves and flowers. They will also eat eggs and some insects, vegetables and fruit. They are highly social and live in large colonies. Cheetahs are quite amazing. They have between two to three thousand spots on them. Their fur is covered in solid black spots and so is their skin. The black fur actually grows out of the black spots on the skin. They have a long muscular tail that has a flat shape. The tail almost functions like a rudder on a boat because they use it to help control their steering and keeping their balance when running very fast. White Tiger. I love those blue eyes. 
Its pale coloration is due to the lack of red and yellow pigments that normally produce the orange color. They are smaller in size to other tigers as well. White tigers are mainly living in captivity these days. Both male and female giraffes have two skin covered horns called ossicones. Male giraffes use their horns to fight or play with each other. A giraffe defends itself from predators by kicking. They can kick so hard that it can kill a lion. Tigers are the only big cats to have stripes and individuals can be identified by their patterns. Tigers have white spots surrounded by black fur on the back of their ears. It has been suggested that they act as false eyes to warn of their presence or discourage other species from attacking them from behind. Tigers have night vision that is six times better than that of humans which helps them hunt successfully in the dark. Wow, that's a lot of jumbo animals. I'm going to tidy them up and let's see what happens when the dinosaurs arrive. Here's travel. Thank you for watching my video, it really helps if you can share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon!